Redo. Hey, it's Mandy. And this is Dana. And we accidentally called David Crowley Chris Watts. I don't know what was going on in our minds, but we did do that. We did. So so we're we're gonna try again. We uh um we, we wanna talk about another case. We wanna talk about the David Crowley family murder. The Crowley family murder has been closed as a murder suicide. That is not the case. Have you seen the crime scene photos? I have seen a lot of dead people, a lot of people who have killed themselves. There was no evidence as to someone shooting two people and then shooting themselves. There, Where's the blood, though? Yeah, so that's a big deal. That's a big deal about this case, the bloodlessness of the crime scene. I I can't accept it because I have seen so many sad tragedies where people have killed themselves and their family members and vice versa. There was no blood evidence. Nothing. None at all. Uh, even even in cases where it Three was... Three people, no blood. I, I know dogs really do love blood because it's very iron. Did yeah. I just say iron? It's irony. Yes, but... High and iron. No, there's no way that dog ate... What would you say? I I would say like three pints of blood for each person. At least. At least. Uh, what, well, they say the human body, uh, if it completely bleeds out, is, is like a, a gallon point two of blood. Ridiculous. I do think that his brother did it. Do you yeah. think that? Yeah, some of the evidence would, would indicate that it was... A family or or somebody close close friend or family the back uh sliding door was open so the dog could go in and out there was no evidence of blood it, that is ridiculous to me for three people to die by gunshot also there were stray bullets did you listen to that yeah stray bullets there was bullets just stuck in the floor bullets in the wall uh, Crowley, and then Crowley shells bu- just laying around yeah. Crowley was a military man he wouldn't miss a target I'm sorry but he wouldn't uh, you can be mad at me all you like but he would not miss a target yeah people might think that sounds dark but he, he was a marksman he was a military marksman he wouldn't have he wouldn't have missed his target not for any reason he wouldn't have shot at the floor and he wouldn't have been wasting rounds for any reason whatsoever. But, uh, no, back on the topic of bloodlessness, because you and I have looked at photos from numerous different crime scenes together. Yes, and, well, and that's not fun to tell people, but yes, we have looked not, at crime scenes. But, but what's the, the staircase murder? Um, uh, Michael Peterson. Your, yeah, Michael Peterson, and the amount of blood that's in that stairwell from a person that's falling a lot down the stairs. That's blood. That's one uh, person. Area. One Arius Person. stabbing her boyfriend about the head bone and all. No, the, she shot him and then stabbed. and then stabbed, shot him and stabbed. But all the blood that's in the hallway, you know, and in, uh, inside the bathroom, blood all over the place, bloody handprints on the wall, blood up the up the shower and blood down the floor. And so here's three people that were executed. Uh, and then uh, eaten <laughs> by by the dog. Or at least that's what they say. And no, I I won't go with that because I don't think the dog did anything wrong. Poor dog was just left alone. Left alone with his uh, dead family. But the bloodlessness, the bloodlessness is an issue for me. After yes. all the photos that you and I have looked together at different crime scenes. I've seen it and I know that was not a, a murder-suicide. That is not... If Okay, so Dana... Yes. We live in a house where someone committed suicide. We think. Yes. It's a theory. <laughs> it's a theory Don't of laugh our, about it. It's, it's a actually real. Living. Yeah. We're pretty convinced. We're pretty convinced. There was a thing. There were things left behind from that person. Including some kind of smattering. Of, no. No, you don't want to talk about that much? All right. If someone is going to execute their entire family and themselves, there would be blood. There would be blood. Even like, a dog can't eat all the blood. Oh, there would be blood. 
There would definitely be blood. There uh, will be blood. There will be. And it would be everywhere. And it's horrible. It would be in places the dog couldn't get to. And for a fact, there is a bloody cell phone. So it was just sitting on a table. Or actually, I think it was on the countertop. It was, it was on that kitchen bar, the countertop by the dishwasher. And uh, yeah, they said that. Um, and somebody pointed out uh, in, in, in another video that I watched that that phone is not there in a photograph that is time stamped earlier. And then it's there in another photograph that's time stamped later. In so the investigation. Well, I guess we're kind of asking, what did he do so wrong that would make someone kill him? I do believe it was his brother. He owed people money, probably. Yeah, I mean, this was his first movie. And, and this case should not be closed, I don't think. No, I don't think it should be closed either. Uh, because it's a very unsatisfactory end. This was not a murder-suicide. It wasn't. It, it clearly was not. Do you remember? Okay, so one of the last hurrah of whoever did this to the, an entire family took a bloody hand and wrote uh, Allah... Uh, Allahu Akbar. Yes. On the wall. Yeah, and it's... Uh, and it looked like it was just a hand. It w- didn't look like someone did it purposely. It looked like someone took a hand. Like a paintbrush. Yes, and used it as a paintbrush. Yeah, and it was blood that was used to make the letters on the wall. Yes, right? everyone knows that. They can't yeah. hide... It. You can't hide the facts that came out. You can hide um, behind saying, oh, this case is closed. It's not closed. Are you kidding me? No, it shouldn't be closed. It shouldn't be closed. But I think that uh, whoever was involved, and and this is this is this is not funny, haha, but funny, weird. It seems that because of David Crowley and what he wanted to do with his movie Gray State, it seems like Gray State happened to him. How quickly this case closed, how quickly the evidence, some of it was completely overlooked. Uh, there's a lot of complaints. I was watching a good video. I don't even remember by who. And he was. this person was pointing out different evidence in some of the photographs that was never even mentioned in the court case, that was never even used as... Uh, uh, they wanted a clean and closed case. Yeah. And that's ridiculous, and it makes me very angry. I am angry. I am a Scottish person. I am angry all the time. I can attest to this. She is angry. Amanda, are you angry? Fuck yes. Yeah, you're angry. And it's 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 upsetting. It's upsetting to both of us to know that a that not only was this case closed quickly, but the information of it was shuffled away quickly and, and the story quickly? Quickly. And the story itself never really hit the headlines. Like it was No one even talked about it. It's a flash in the pan story. So uh, there there's one other girl with me by my side saying oh, Armchair detective, please talk about David Crowley. This is not right. Something is very wrong. If you're listening at all, armchair, please dig into this. Something is incredibly wrong about this. There is something that stinks, and it is a closed case that wasn't investigated. That's all. It stinks. Yeah, there wasn't enough done. There wasn't enough of the real evidence compiled to make a a better picture of what actually happened there. This was truly a situation where it happened and whoever made it happen made it disappear. Which is really weird because on the the flip side of it, uh, and the neighbors and the detectives that were able to talk about it said that it felt like it was staged. It looks staged. It does look staged. Have you ever seen three people die... And uh, you, you've not seen any blood? No blood. And the way they were, quote unquote, stacked in the living room, like the way they were. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah. I, I, I'm just calling it. It's ridiculous. I, I have been to crime scenes so many times, and the blood is unimaginable for one person. One person. These are three people. People. So what do you have to say about that, Dana? Because that's ridiculous. That doesn't happen. Blood doesn't 
evaporate. It doesn't evaporate. We both know that. It doesn't. There's something magically, wonderfully, crime insinuatingly perfect about blood. Someone needs to be charged for these murders. And it wasn't... Uh, uh, I, I don't want David Crowley to be put down for his entire family dying. He didn't do it. You can tell. Uh, I, you no, look at them. He didn't do it. And uh, a lot of people have come forward, including uh, old army mates of his, that that uh, said that he was in no way, shape, or form suffering from PTSD. So this isn't... And that was part of something they tried to... They said, oh, I, I, I suffer from PTSD. You know this. Yes. Uh, that's not a thing on my option block of... Yeah, let's kill three people and myself. And also, the person who did this didn't kill the dog. Did not kill the dog. What was that? Why? Why would you leave the dog alive? Right. Eh? I. And leave the back door open a smidge. So no, the, so the dog could get so in and out. Get in and out and eat snow, you know. Because the dog wouldn't have a lot of water. Didn't they say the toilets were empty? So, you know, the dog had... I actually still have that image in my head about the toilet. It looked yellow and brown. Gross. It was gross. But the dog had drank water out of it. So, I mean, yeah, the, there was care. There was a, there was a, an emoticum of care exhibited toward the dog. Which would indicate a family member of some... I would say that... If anyone had anything to do with the Crowley murders, they should just come forth. And just get get on with it. Just d- do the right thing. Yeah. You, you don't need to hide in the shadows. We all know David didn't do it. Everyone know. I mean, anyone with half of a brain would know. To me, it seems apparent there's no way. Why? It doesn't make sense. Even half a brain. Even just a half. Just a little slice of a brain. This case doesn't have to remain closed. I know that I know that uh if we work together we could get enough of a buzz rolling behind it to get it reopened and have the truth finally come out because the truth has not been has not been told and justice has not been served in this case whatsoever. David Crowley is innocent. He does not deserve to have his name Agreed. dragged. Beautifully said. Absolutely. He does not deserve this. He does not deserve this. He needs the respect where respect is due. I am the last person in the world to drag a military man through the mud. He did not do anything wrong. Nothing. I agree. Anyway, so, hey, I hope you liked it. Other than make an expose movie that people didn't like. Well, whatever. I... I, I I I get very upset. You know I do. Yes, I do. Uh, well, I hope you liked our video on the Crowley case. We will probably do more videos on it because we're very confused about what exactly happened. Not sure. Yeah. So if you have anything interesting to comment, obviously leave it below uh, and we're just looking for a good compilation of information. We do want to do more videos about the Crowley case and, uh, give us your thoughts, give us your input, give us your feedback, give us your evidence. (laughs) Your feedback. (laughs) Dana's feet are so gigantic that David Crowley probably made them. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible, shut up. That's a terrible joke. My feet. What are those? What are those? Those are my feet. (laughs) <laughs> Give us your feedback. Give us your evidence. Give us your info. <laughs> <laughs> because we would love to make uh, more about the Crowley case and, uh, you know, any any intelligent information <laughs> would be would be well received. His feet are gross. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We're going to go now. It, it was nice talking to you. Take care. And... <laughs> Goodbye. (laughs) Say bye, Mandy. (laughs) Bye-bye.